Hi everybody, it's great to be back. I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and these are the cards that I'll be using this week. The Transparent Tarot and the Everyday Witch because of the Halloween theme that I'm busy with and because of the Witches series. I hope you are enjoying the Witches series. It is not talking about the Witches um, altogether it is about the environment about what's going on today in in the in general and also we'll be doing um, recipes and we'll, uh, on budget cooking and health that is where the what we are doing in the witches series and if you would like to get into it yourself then these are the two books this one is The Workplace and Spells by Marla Brooks. We did the series on her oracle card, the Witch's Oracle Cards. And this one is by TJ Perkins, The Healthy Witch. And it's great fun. Georgina and I are having great fun and laughs. And she's bringing also things from the outside, from other cultures, other beliefs, other things that she does. And I basically do... Um, the healing side with the tarot and Reiki and meditation. She does meditation as well, but where it, it's it's really um, something that you can sit down, grab a cuppa, and sit in peace and just listen to the conversation. And if you buy the books yourself, then you can bring yourself back into the strength as well. But it's also great fun to exchange this with somebody else and we'll be starting um, the workshops in Georgina and I um, in January so if you would like to join um, uh, in with the workshop it will be 150 euros um, for m maximum of 10 to 11 uh, episodes um, that's how long and it will be once a week and we'll get together um, in Zoom. I think that's the best option. You can switch your camera off and listen or interact by just talking. So I'm looking forward to that but this month it's an exciting month because I'll be making something um, uh, creatively and also something that you can eat. So I'm combining two things made out of one so keep your eyes peeled for that video which is coming up uh, which I will be making will also have uh, a person coming in doing reflexology uh, on the face or the hands and we also will hopefully will have Jan in to do her video on the gemstones so I hope you will follow the um, Witches series uh, because we discuss colors of the candles there, uh, oils, um, fragrances, incense, etc. etc. It's absolutely lovely, and um, you most probably have already seen the video on the candles, making candles at home or buying them scented and colored, and we go into discussion about that as well. That is with Tracy uh, Castledine. Go and have a look on her Facebook uh, Facebook page, um, uh, Love Lizzie. Uh, so go and have a look. But I hope you will enjoy this video for you for your for yourself, of course, this week, because this reading is going to be from the fifth of October to the eleventh, and time does fly. And please click on the uh, the bell, subscribe, and click on the bell on all then you be notified when I go live um, or when new videos are loaded up. I'm so busy with making this series that I sometimes get really exhausted and can't make the um, uh, Friday night live so I'm sorry uh, for last night I didn't go live but I will be going live tonight so I hope you will join me there take care and in and have a lovely week and also there's a video um, under updates uh, for setting your settings after you've subscribed and hit that bell 
then you will be notified. Otherwise, you won't be notified. Okay, take care, God bless, and stay safe. And please give me the thumbs up. Ciao, ciao. Hi Libra, this is your reading for the 5th to the 11th of October. And welcome back. Um, I'm using the transparent tarot because I love it. And yes, I know it is the theme for uh, Halloween, but uh, I'm also using the um, everyday witch card. Um, and I just like these. They're mysterious anyway. And Halloween is mysterious as well. Ooh, I can't wait. I really do love Halloween. And I'm going to do loads of things. Just follow the series. The Witches series. Because I'm going to make something special for Halloween. So if you follow the series, you will see what I'm making. Something creative and something to eat. Okay. Two things out of just one thing. Okay, <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my mystic teas. Okay, will the f we start off with the three of wands. Your plans are coming to fruition. Yeah, the, your boat of abundance is coming in. This could be a new job. This could be money. This could be seeds coming to fruition. Uh, love, anything. Okay, then we have the moon. There are things you don't know, so perhaps you have to do some more research. If you have to travel to work to this new job, what time the bus leaves, something like that, or a look at the small print in contracts, secrets are coming out. As they say, the truth prevails. So the truth will come out, but you might have to look within yourself as well because we've got the third eye in this moon so spiritually you might be very sensitive high, highly sensitive emotionally or spiritually so don't doubt your intuition or your higher self perhaps you might be meditating more than usual or contemplating and evaluating things you will find out what it is though because the page of wands is coming towards you and the page of wands is Sagittarius so it could be a Sagittarius but don't um, exclude Aries or Leo there will be news coming towards you or you could be meeting one of them perhaps that is not what, what you don't know okay um, but the, uh, the moon also represents Pisces, so you could be meeting a Pisces. But listen to your intuition, you're on the right path to your north note, to your goal. Okay, and I think the news is your plans are coming to fruition. Before it actually comes to fruition, you might get news of it. Then we have the Six of Cups. Somebody might be giving you uh, advice or a helping hand, a listening ear, with regards to something you don't know. Like the dark side, it's in the dark side of the moon, so somebody might be giving you a helping hand, or might be giving you a gift, since you've got plans that are coming to fruition. Like I said, this might be money coming in towards you. Somebody might be giving you money. So if you're less fortunate, you'll be receiving. If you're more fortunate, you might be giving something to the less fortunate. This could be somebody um, uh, that you have made plans with because you've got three people here. So you might have been making plans to partner up and you might just have to give a little bit of a helping hand again you've got the king of pentacles so it might be money that is coming in towards you something to start something off okay the thing might be that you've received news you might have applied for a loan because this is a grown up and this could represent the bank or a uh, financial advisor and you're getting news that your loan is coming tr through because you're partnering up and somebody else also grown up or um, experienced with finance uh, is becoming your partner so that's why they trust that you can handle this or you might have just grown up very fastly and done 
the research because of the moon you things that you didn't know you uh, have grown up from being a, uh, a, a child or a teenager to a grown up dealing with money but I think you're going to get advice and financial help from a grown up it could be a professional as the king of uh, pentacles um, always investigates and does his research okay before he invests because he's got the meatiest touch now the king of pentacles can be a Taurus, but don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn the last card is the two of cups so that means to me that signifies to me that you are joining up and you are partnering up with somebody you're emotionally in balance and so are they but definitely you feel more in balance and you feel more grounded like the king of cups because he look at look at the coming becoming one the dress is all on the same length you are on the same wavelength as an other as your partner okay and you stand strong you cover each other's back that is what I'm saying this is you covering their back and that is them helping you and covering your back Do you see how this child becomes grown up and gets the knowledge of the older person so there might be an older person helping you setting up your business it's rather beautiful how it flows in together and it could be the king of pentacles it could be a Taurus but it could also be a Gemini as you have the king of swords now the swords stand for wisdom so he could be a teacher he could be a parent it could be a Gemini but as the king of swords stand for Gemini okay and he's pointing with his sword to the book so you might be learning from an older person most probably a man okay he could be a teacher he could be a bookkeeper like I said it could be a parent or it could be a professional that is teaching you how to do your bookkeeping to keep things in balance emotionally in balance definitely if you're not partnering up but I think there will be somebody coming in to get help you like you are receiving money so if you've applied for a loan that that page means news um, that means that your loan is going to go through and there could be three people or three um, there could be a, part a partnership because the two of cups is emotional so that could be some somebody that you uh, partner up with emotionally uh, like love or um, somebody else could be giving you a gift so that you can partner up okay um, and also I get Holy Trinity three one two three you could be partnering up with more companies or more people but you need to sort out the legal side of it like if you've been partnered up twice just with two people and there's a third person coming in to help then make sure that you know your business and that you are the king of pentacles or the king of swords that you are the boss you're the top notch because it's your business I know it is partnering up uh, means um, um, taking charge again but you need to do it legally you need to gather knowledge the moon is already said uh, shows that you might know not know everything um, don't wear blinkers because if you look at it then the eyes are just with, with between two people you have to be open and transparent to all parties okay so as you see that like three eyes here one eye is not actually in the picture between the two people don't hide any secrets because then you will get leg um, legalities then you'll get trouble okay and there will be uh, arguments I know 
I also keep on hearing three is a crowd okay something is out of balance so keep it in balance ask advice by any means f uh, don't shy away from asking advice even if it costs you money professionally keep things on the straight and narrow um, I get the Holy Trinity that means that you are protected by the um, divine and by the angels but try to keep a partnership clear and don't have any secrets draw up the necessary papers that is what I'm also seeing okay if you if you are partnering up to get married then watch out uh, that there aren't any busy bodies uh, mingling with your uh, your your love life or your partnership okay you don't need a third people person in the relationship okay because the swords stand for wisdom you have to have the wisdom in order to deal with a crowd okay um, and more people employees like for example you might be bringing in three employees in this partnership to work be beneath you um, but plans are coming together this could also mean in a relationship a third party cut them away be wise follow your intuition that's the moon okay um, it's okay to have sleeping partners but make it clear put it on back I, I get to here put it on black and white okay now seen in your unique way seen in your unique way now you've got the tree with a hole in it right it looks like a hole but it's the moon behind the tree so again the moon is very significant or there could be a hole somewhere and you need more information to me I, it looks like a hole is burning in the tree something that's stable because the tree puts roots down and is stable and blows with the wind go is flexible but if the wind gets too hard and it is planted shallowly it will fall over so don't get to that point okay don't get burnt out either take your time for rest get things clear exquisite being you have captured the heart of the divine but what worldly standard are you holding yourself to shine from within yes shine from within but don't get burnt out through graciousness generosity that's this the six of cups or pentacles rather and full thoughtfulness how could you be anything else or less in the eyes of expectancy there is always more that could have been done to feel that you are finally good enough but for what and for whom that's it for what or for whom are you going to take care of your family or are you going to listen to an outside party that is what I'm feeling keep a soft place in your heart for yourself as if you were your own best friend listen for your own voice of judgment it is usually to be found as odds and ends of the mind strewn about and in need of discarding fill up with the fragrant and truth that you are exceptionally fashioned by the powers that be that's beautifully said really fill up with the fragrant truth that is the truth card the swords that you are exceptionally fashioned by the powers that be there you go so think of yourself it's like the saying love yourself first before you can love an other take care of yourself before you can take care of an other 
okay especially with the six of pentacles give to those that need help but and that you're certain that you will get the loan back okay unless you really give it away the same with the king of pentacles he will only give money so long he knows that there will be a return because he's got the meters touch so be careful of third parties wanting something but they can't give it back be the instructor by all means or the advisor or seek advice legal advice on how to do things learn be open to learning open your mind I think it's quite a deep reading this one I hope you've enjoyed it though and I hope to see you in the next video or in the life please like and share thank you and be blessed